Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will have quick revision of the muscles of upper limb which will be very useful for you a day before viva or exam. Starting it very quickly. First we will have muscles of pectoral region that is pectoralis major. When we remove pectoralis major we find pectoralis minor. We also find a muscle below clavicle bone which is known as subclavius muscle. Hence the muscles of the pectoral region are pectoralis major, pectoralis minor and subclavius muscle. Muscles of scapular region. The first muscle is the deltoid muscle. In this figure you will find the lateral and posterior view of the deltoid muscle. Then after on the posterior aspect we find supraspinatus superiorly and infraspinatus inferiorly attached to the posterior aspect of the scapula. When we remove both the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscle, we find teres minor and teres major. Also, from the anterior view of the scapula, we find subscapularis muscle and teres major is also seen. Hence, the muscles of the scapular region are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major and subscapularis muscle. There are some muscles of back which are related to the upper limb and it helps in connecting the upper limb to the vertebral column. The first one is the trapezius muscle. When we remove the trapezius muscle, we can clearly view latissimus dorsi. And after removing latissimus dorsi, we find levator scapulae which is related to the scapula and then we also find rhomboid minor and rhomboid major muscle. Muscles of arm the first muscle of the arm is the biceps brachii muscle. As the name suggests, it has two head. One is the long and another one is the short head. When we remove biceps brachii muscle, we find coracobrachialis muscle. And below coracobrachialis, there lies brachialis muscle. On the posterior aspect of the arm, we have triceps brachii muscle. As the name suggests, it has three head. One is the long head, another one is the lateral and third one is the medial head. Both the long head and lateral head form the bicipital aponeurosis where this is the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle which is located anteriorly to both the long and lateral head of the triceps brachii. Hence, the muscles of the arm are biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, brachialis and triceps brachii. Muscles of forearm. The first muscle of the forearm is the brachioradialis muscle. It is related to the radius bone. We also have pronator teres muscle. Both the brachioradialis and pronator teres form the boundaries of the cubital fossa. Below pronator teres, we find flexor carpi radialis muscle. As it is present in the flexor compartment of forearm, so does its name. Below it, we find palmaris longus. And below palmaris longus, we also have flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. This is the posterior view of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle and above it we have anconius muscle. Coming on to the extensor compartment, we have extensor carpi ulnaris muscle. Below it there lies extensor digiti minimi and then extensor digitorium. We also have extensor carpi radialis brevis and extensor carpi radialis longus. In this slide, the first figure shows the brachioradialis muscle, pronator teres and flexor carpi radialis muscle. But in the second figure, we have removed all of these three muscles and we found supinator, flexor pollicis longus and flexor digitorium superficialis. Again in this slide, in the first figure, we had flexor pollicis longus and flexor digitorium superficialis muscle. Whereas in the second figure, we removed both of them and we found pronator quadratus and flexor digitorium profundus. Similarly, on the posterior aspect of the forearm, in the first figure, we had all the extensor muscle, but in the second figure, we removed all of them and we found extensor pollicis longus and abductor pollicis longus muscle. And when we removed the extensor pollicis longus and abductor pollicis longus, Another two muscles appeared which are seen in figure 2 and these two muscles were extensor indices and extensor pollicis brevis. Note one thing that all the muscles of 
Four up are not to be learned by heart, but remember one of the most important muscles and prepare them for exam. Coming on to the muscles of hand, here also all the muscles are not important. Just remember the names if you can, otherwise it's okay. The muscles of hand are divided into four compartments, that is the thinar, hypothenar, lumbricals and interosseae. Thinar muscles. It includes four muscles which are abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, opponens pollicis brevis and adductor pollicis. Here, just remember that there are four thinar muscles as well as there are four hypothenar muscles which are abductor digiti minimi, flexor digiti minimi, opponens digiti minimi and palmaris brevis. Besides that, we have four lumbricals, which are lumbrical 1, lumbrical 2, 3, and 4. Interosseae muscles are divided into two parts, palmar and dorsal interosseae, among which there are four palmar interosseae and four dorsal interosseae. Hence, altogether, there are total 20 muscles of head. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the next video.